and was all action at the Coomaroa Sheepdog Trials last week as the men and their dogs went head to head with the sheep across an array of disciplines. And for the folks behind the whistles, the event was something special, as it was the Coomaroa Sheepdog Trial Club's 100th anniversary. Been going since 1912, uh, 100 years, a long time. Uh, this is our this is our fourth site that we've been on, um, but all, all the sites have been based around the Coomaroa and Hopelands districts. Mr Poulton says that while the Coomaroa Club may not have the number of dog trialists that did 50 years ago, he says support from the local community is still amazing. Coomera being a, a, a little country district that's not very far from Palmerston North uh, and, and Danny Burke and a few other towns, we get a lot of lifestylers you know, have been moving out here and so um, we get a lot of support from, from lifestylers um, that don't necessarily have anything to do with dogs or farming but they enjoy country life and, and come along and help. The trials are a qualification event for the North Island and National Championship events to be held later this year. The competitors are trialling in four main disciplines. The short head and yard, the long head, the zigzag hunt and the straight hunt. One competitor, who once played for the All Blacks but is relatively new to the sport of sheepdog trialling, was Brett Harvey, who farms in Te Romea and has been entering trials for the last six years. But newer still to the sport is his dog Crypt. This is his first trial uh, today so we're just feeling him out seeing how he's going. Really. Well I'm reasonably happy, we had a uh, long head before and completed that so I was quite happy with that for his first trial. He's only a 20 month old dog, just broken in, so I can't, I can't, I have no great expectation. Meanwhile, one man who has had his fair share of fun at the Coomera trial days was Fred McDougall, who said he started trialling in the early 1950s. Mr McDougall recalled one day, which he'd prefer to have forgotten from throughout those 60 years. Say, about 20 feet to go to finish the run. And this dog suddenly got up, the sheep were going slow, he was hunting beautifully, and he jumped up and put his a paw on each side of the sheep as though he was going to serve it. <laughs> and do you know what he did? He just got to work and started ripping the wool out of it. And that dog had never bitten a sheep. The judge was running round, the dogs worrying the sheep, and I was fairly young then. God, that was the most embarrassing moment in all my dog trial life. I've got drunk and fallen over, but nowhere near this. that was the embarrassing time. Benedict <laughs> Collins, Country 99, TV News.